Freshly renovated Memorial Stadium, a perfect setting for today's game in Berkeley, California. We are expecting a full crowd and plenty of intensity on the field. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. With a capacity of almost 75,000, we're in Memorial Stadium in Berkeley, California. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth. And we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Today's exciting game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see the Washington State Cougars and the Golden Bears of California. incredible season and we've got what looks to be an exciting game coming up. It's time for the coin toss now presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Way deep to return. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Razorbacks came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the pollsters move them down? Did not think it was possible. A major upset today. The Wildcats get the W, 24-21. You can never overlook any team any week in college football. Wow. For Cal, Kirk, this is a good-looking offense. It's a little bit different, though. Tell us about it. You want to watch how quickly a lot of their plays develop. It's all about ball control with this offense. And they use a lot of quick passing rounds and a lot of three-step drops. Doesn't give the defenders a whole lot of time to react. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Here we go. They bring him down in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard. Third down. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 25. Huh. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle at the 33-yard line. The slant pattern good for about eight yards on the play. Cook awaiting the return. Cook fields it at the 24. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. First and 10. Ball on their own 31. made the 39-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it second and two. It's second down, two to go. Ball on their own 39. Uh. 
He's taken down at the 42-yard line. The running back gets the first. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. From their own 42-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48s. And this crowd is going crazy. Brought down at the 43-yard line. That was actually pretty good defense, but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. run there. Walker picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he's tackled at the 39. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That'll make it 35. And here's another third down. So this crowd is making their presence felt. He's tackled the 37-yard line. So it's fourth down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Up the middle for a nice game. They'll start at the 33. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Scott, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own 33. To that quickly. And he's taken down around the 44 yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. First and 10, ball on the 44 yard line. Quick pass, and down he goes around the 35 yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. He's hit and taken down. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. From the 35-yard line, second down.
We played one quarter. Still no score. Can't find anyone open. And he hits him hard at the 28. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. The Wildcats have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. Arizona leads it 7-0. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Set. Makes it out to about the 20. First down. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. He tries to buy some time. And he is drilled at the 15. Gibson comes away with five yards on the scramble there. And this play is number eight on the drive. Back to pass. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. So we're looking at another third down here. Brooks, again, he fights forward to about the 10. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in the top 25. And for LSU, they go up top and find a score. The Tigers lead 7-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. From the 10-yard line, first down. First down and back to pass. It's picked up by the quarterback. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He fights forward to about the 16. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Fourth and long here after the sack. California is looking to go up by three. He gets it up. And it splits the uprights. 
Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's check out an old school, hard nosed, smash mouth, Big Ten style game. The Nittany Lions continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. And for Hall, he's barreled into the end zone for a touchdown. The Nittany Lions lead it by one, midway through the fourth quarter. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Drops to throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Once and all, going deep. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. We've got third and 10. Ball on the 25. And this place is rocking. Schultz, the ball carrier. They'll get him for a loss. Golden Bears will use their first time out of the half. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 29-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. California holds a field goal lead. Going deep. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From their own 26-yard line, first down. He passes it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's second and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. Feeds it to the back. Nice run and he's brought down. And they may need to hurry here. Well, you'd think so, but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field right now. From their own 31-yard line, third down. And this stadium is getting loud. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. California's a little confused. They use their second timeout. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. They'll work with him again, and he's got room to operate. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. First down. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 44-yard line.
from their own 44 yard line. Second down. Rawls drops back to pass. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Wolverines come into this one ranked number four. And for Michigan, they continue their winning ways. Reese, 3 0 here. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He drops back. That's a great tackle at the 41. He makes the reception. Gain of 15 yards. First down. From the 41 yard line. First down. Back to pass. He's taken down around the 24 yard line. Washington State will take their first time out of the half. That makes it first and 10. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. He heaves it to the end zone. Can't connect. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Penalty makes it second and 15. Drops back to pass. He throws right. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. the 29 yard line third down to the end zone incomplete it can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes but that's probably a pick he should have made so with the half ending they're just going to try to put three points up on the board Washington State can tie it up here with this kick. And he didn't get all of it. It falls short. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. 3-0, Golden Bears. Well, if you love defensive football, you had to really enjoy that first half. Time to start the second half in this low-scoring matchup. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. the draw play and he's tackled after positive yardage nice gain of around seven yards on that delay that'll bring up second and three second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down and down 
he goes at the 35. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The student section's going crazy. The halfback with a carry. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Brad, I think they're showing a lot of confidence in this running back. Here's third down and medium. In some cases, you might be thinking that the offense would want to pass, but instead they give it to their back, and he shows that they're not wrong in being able to pick up that first down. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 43. That's good for a game of two yards. Up second, and nine. second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 43 yard line. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. Handoff up the middle. Nice run up the middle. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. So they're going to go for it here. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of six on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. There we go. Inside handoff. He's tackled at the 26. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. This is the ninth play of this drive. Brought down at the 26-yard line. From the 26 yard line. Second down. Tackle at the 25 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Walker gets another carry. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. It was the umpire that threw the flag, and generally, that's a holding penalty. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third and even longer now after the penalty. And he's tackled at the 34. The defense was playing the run all the way. They got it right. Nice work. Folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. He's looking to pass. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. If they would have kicked the field goal, they could have built some momentum. Instead, come away with nothing. Should be interesting to see how this affects the rest of the game. They'll get the ball here at the 20. 
California is up a field goal. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's get you up to date on everything going on in the top 25. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for LSU, they hope to continue their winning ways. LSU leads it 24-21. Reese, 3-0 here. Woo! It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He tackles him for a loss. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. Third Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. The Golden Bears lead 3-0. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. California is up by three. Here we go. Cut. They go option right. Runs outside for a nice game. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's on the run! They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34. Little handoff. Gets out to around the 25. And here's another third down. Ready, huh? Going over the middle, intercepted. And he's level at the 30-yard line. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Sherman with the tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 34-yard line. He's wrapped up for the sack. 
He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. So this crowd is making their presence felt. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Just over two minutes in the game. They go with the back, and he's got room. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Terrific run in a crucial spot. The big key was the offensive line giving the ball carrier room to get upfield. From their own 46-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 48. Washington State's going to take their first time out of the half. Makes it second and eight. From their own 48-yard line, second down. He drops back. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Rawls drops back. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Quick throw. Touchdown! And that gives them the lead. Clutch touchdown right there in a big-time situation. He makes the PAT, a seven-play, 65-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Wilson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Wow, he just booted that one into the next county. Let's hear from the referee. You know... The kicker has one job. Kick it downfield and keep it in bounds. This kind of stuff just drives me crazy. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Ready. Huh? Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. It appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. Going deep, lays it out there. Doesn't get there. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Huh? 
throws in a hurry. And he's got it at the 30. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. A little over a minute in the game. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 65-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. So the score now, 10-7. California to kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. The offense right now is thinking they've got to get into field goal range to try to tie this game up. But if they can get a little bit of rhythm going, get into a flow, who knows? Maybe they have a chance to scoring a touchdown and winning this game in regulation. He looks to throw on first down. Wants it all. Going deep. No, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28. Drops back to pass. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. To get back in this game in the fourth quarter, this third and long is huge. This crowd in full throat right now. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. It's fourth down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. We have less than a minute to go. Feeds it to the back. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Really big boost for this offense, picking up that fourth that down conversion. The running play was very well designed. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Back to pass. He chucks it downfield. And it's a whole new ball. And he tacks on the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. He got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Not much time to be creative here. They've got to get the ball into the end zone. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gibson to the air on first down. California is going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Let's go. 
looking to throw. Aaron and at long. It's knocked away, incomplete. Scott's the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Back to pass. Makes the catch and look out. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. He's looking to pass. Throws this one out to the left. He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Drops back to pass. Wants to go long and done. Missed him. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, 14-10, Washington State. 14, and the California Golden Bears, 10. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, this one really could have gone either way. California played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. And for Lewis, his superb play merits the honor of player of the game. For Washington State, they keep their perfect season hopes alive by netting their sixth win. And for Cal, they fall back to 500 halfway through the season. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 13. We want to thank you for being along with us today. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews and EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.